Sonic 1029. Hey, it's Brooklyn. Today we are chatting with someone very special, someone that you like a lot. It's Ryan of Mother Mother. How are you? I'm good. How are you? My computer just did something weird. Hold on. What's they going on? They do that. They do that. Okay, well, we got to talk about this new song. It's yes. It's pretty excited. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. I got love. I got love for this song. Oh, thank you. It feels great to be putting out new music again. For sure. Uh, the question on everybody's minds, I got to know, was this written during pandemic, during quarantine, or were you holding on to it in a vault somewhere? It was written during the pandemic. Um, yeah, so we didn't really think we were going to make a record um, in 2020. But then the world changed and there was a lot of free time on our hands. Mm -hmm. And so I set out to write a record that, you know, hopefully channeled the energy of this pandemic moment in a way that was was helpful um, okay. and respectful to the gravity of the situation. I didn't really want to write about it with, with too much specificity because I feel like it was, you know, it was just too big. But then just to write about yourself or love songs just felt a bit trite in light of what was going on. So I really wanted to write some songs that talked about, you know, love perhaps, especially in times of, of strife, when the world is um, taken away from you, when your identity is taken away from you and you don't have tangible external pillars um, to hang on to, what do you have? Well, maybe we can access something within ourselves called love or, or some kind of peace and calm that can help us through tough times and so that's what this song is about there's a line in the song that really jumped out to me and it's so i rock my pain like a baby child i know we'll be all right because i got love that's very nurturing that's very warm that's very hopeful and that's what we need more of right now and especially like the imagery of holding a child and protecting sure. that's what we want right now yeah well and i think when you add pain on top of pain, it gets more painful. Mm -hmm. uh, and we all know that from experience because we're, we're all in pain, all of us right now in some way. Um, and, you know, through my relationship with pain, I have, I have found over the years that dousing it with, with love is a better remedy to, to get rid of it. Your music became a pillar for other people, which is incredible. Like, you blew up on TikTok. Millions of people have used your songs. The last time I checked, your hashtag Mother Mother has been used over 60 million times. What does that feel like? Um, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's miraculous. It's strange. It's humbling. And it's very exciting. What I'm excited for is for you to have this new album and for people to hear it and get to experience it. Is there anything that you can tell us about this album? You know, I, I really wanted to, like I said, tune into what was going on and, um, and create a conceptual experience around hardship, humanity, pain and healing um, without being too specific about, say, the apocalypse, you know? I it's really accessible. Wanted, yeah, and I just wanted it to be about the individual finding it all within themselves in order to deal with whatever is happening out there. So that's kind of the theme, and sometimes it's positive, like with I Got Love, and sometimes it gets a bit dark um, and, and sheds light more on the struggle. That makes me even more excited. So thank you for taking the time to chat. Tell the people where they can hear I Got Love. I, everywhere, right? Like all the DSP, Spotify, Apple, um, Amazon, YouTube. Yeah, you're there. I appreciate it so much. I hope that you have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks, Brooklyn. You too. It's so nice to talk. Thank you. Are you Sonic? Sonic 1029.